Welcome to TCM This Sunday. I'm Alicia Malone. And up first, we have an epic story based on a Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Pearl S. Buck. From 1937, it's The Good Earth. The huge success of this novel got the attention of Hollywood and the head of production at MGM, Irving Thalberg, saw its cinematic potential, though he had a hard time convincing studio head Louis B. Mayer, who reportedly said, who wants to watch a picture about Chinese farmers? A lot of people did, and after Mayer agreed, the film ended up with a huge budget of almost $3 million. But though Pearl S. Buck was hoping to see an all-Chinese or all-Chinese-American cast, Hollywood had other ideas. Casting white actors to play non-white characters was a common practice at this time, and MGM said they wanted star names. So Paul Muni and Louise Reiner were given the lead roles of a Chinese farmer and his wife who battle various ups and downs while living off their land. The makeup used in this film is difficult to watch through our modern eyes, and Anna Mae Wong had wanted the role given to Reiner and reportedly gave a remarkable screen test. But with Muni already cast and the production code in place, Wong wouldn't have been able to star as a romantic lead with a white actor, even though he was playing a Chinese man. When asked why he didn't choose Chinese-American actors, Irving Thalberg said, I'm in the business of creating illusions. Thalberg was instrumental in this production, but he passed away in 1936 before the film released. And as you'll see, there is a dedication to him during the opening credits. From 1937, this is The Good Earth. The Good Earth was nominated for five Oscars, winning two Best Actress for Louise Reiner and Best Cinematography for Carl Freund. Sidney Franklin was also nominated for Best Director, though he wasn't the only director to work on the film. George Hill was given the project initially and went to China to film background shots. But Hill was struggling with alcoholism and sadly ended up committing suicide. He was married to legendary screenwriter Frances Marion, who had also worked on this project, but she was so distraught and had been in a car accident, so she left the film. Victor Fleming was then hired to direct, but he fell ill, so finally Sidney Franklin came on board. Stay with us on TCM. Up next, it's time for a little romantic melodrama as Rock Hudson and Lauren Bacall star in a Douglas Sirk film from 1956.